The extension method is basically a helper method, so I'm going to create a folder and I'll call it helpers. And let's add a class to it. And I'll call it found it years ago. Now, since we are creating extension method, the class needs to be static. And let's create the method itself. So it's going to be a public and it's going to be a static as well. And it will return an integer how many years ago. And remember, we want to call it get years ago. So let's just call it that way. And as an extension method, we are extending this. This is the syntax for creating extension method. And we want this to be, of course, a date time since we are working with dates. And I'll just call it date time. So first thing to calculate how many years ago something happened, we need the current date. So let's create a variable. I'll call it current date. And it's going to be our date time dot now. And now I'm going to create the integer variable, which is going to be returned from this method. So I'm going to call it years ago. And this one will equal our current date, but we only want the year minus the date time. And again, we only want the year. And at the end, we will simply return the years ago variable. So now let's go to the controller again. And we have our get years ago extension method ready. You can see that we just have to import the using statement for band API that help us because that's where we added the extension method. Okay, so let's run this. So let's get our bands again. But make sure that you either don't have the accept header. In our last demonstration, we tried to use the zip, which was not acceptable. So that would return again, not acceptable. Or just use JSON. So let's run this. And you can see now we are getting our DTOs returned. So we have the ID, name, and main genre. And we have the founded years ago. However, we have the full date along with the time. And then in parentheses, we have how many years ago that was. So now it's 2019. So if it was founded in 1985, then indeed it's 34 years ago. And here, for example, Metallica, if it was founded in 1980, that would be 39 years ago. So this is working correctly. I just want to format this output to just be a year instead of the complete date and a time. So I'm going to format the output to four digit year. And also over here, when we display how many years ago the band was founded, I will actually also display a text that says years ago, just so we know what the number actually means. So let's run this and let's run our get bands. And here is the output. And you can see now we display the year and how many years ago in parentheses. So now it works correctly and it looks better. And again, we used an extension method just to make it reusable. Now, in our case, we're not going to be actually reusing it. However, like I said, you could use this to calculate an age of a person or, for example, how many years ago an album was released. So in a actual real world API, you would want to use an extension method or some kind of reusable method to calculate these kind of things. So everything is working correctly and we have the band DTO implemented in the get bands method, but we can improve it a little bit because currently we are returning I action result, but we don't have to actually do that. We can return action result, which is the base implementation of I action result because we know that we are returning a list of all bands. So we can simply return action result of type band DTO, but we of course want this to be 
an i enumerable since we are returning a list. So it's going to be i enumerable of band DTO. So this way we specify exactly what is going to be returned from this action. And furthermore, we are looping through each of the entities from bands from repo and we are constructing one band at a time. Now in our case it doesn't really make much difference because we only have five bands and very few properties, but what if we wanted to return many more properties and have many more bands in our database? So this would become quite tedious, especially if we had to apply this in all of our actions. So we would have to do it here as well when we apply the band DTO here and any other action we add. So better approach is to have the DTO and the entity mapped automatically. And to do that we will use automapper. So let's have a look how to do that next.